All right, I'm gonna try to do this video. I'm not sure how well if the result is gonna be, but yeah. Enough talking. Let's do the video. It's gonna be system test 26.25. I guess you could call it that. With the 8005, the MS2, and the 5001 DC. I have these three panels wired together so they all trip each other. And I have demonstration systems set up. Except this one. I'm using the system. The same alarms. Yeah. So, let's say it's like a building. And the building was built in the early 80s with a Simplex 2001, 425120, and this. Alright. And then the building was added on to, and they put in a 5001 DC with 7002 Ts. Or this this one's very dirty. It was brand new, but it was poorly stored, so it's covered in dust. And MS2 pull stations. Alright. And then let's say they added on in the 2000s. The, the, like 2006 or 2007. No, 2008. And they put in Spectralert Advances and BG12Ls and an MS2 panel. But they all have to be wired together. So here's what I did. I wired the 8005 to the 5001 and the 5001 to the MS2 and the MS2 to the 8005 so they trip in a clockwise order. Alright? So, let's say that the system gets activated. Let's say that the, the, or the original system gets activated. Reset the station, the pull station. Now, the problem with this is it won't re alarm the system. Maybe. Let's see. Now, it won't re alarm the system. It only re alarm one set, one piece of the system. Because of the limitations with these panels. So. Resetting, you have to do it in a certain order. MS2, 8005, then the 5001 DC. So, first, second, and third. There. I've reset all of them. So let's activate the 5001 DC with the MS2 pull station. Apparently the Spectraler decided it wanted to go crazy. Did you hear that? On, off. Four. Did you hear that? Apparently the Spectraler decided to go crazy. For whatever reason. I don't know why. I mean, I had it set on Selective Silence, but I guess Selective Silence was just screwed up somehow. Anyway. So, reset that again. Whoops. Gonna reset this. There. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Shoot, missed it. Reset, 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 reset. Good, it did. All right, there we go. See what happens if you don't do it in the right order? You get re-alarmed. So now let's do the BG-12 on the MS-2.
Now, so that's kind of a simple thing on how panels get hooked together. Yes. That was my fault. I didn't reset the BG-12. Alright. Try that again. There. So that's kind of how you wire panels together. So what I have here is I have a relay connected to the strobe neck, which runs to the 5001 DC and trips that. Alright? Then the 5001 DC's NAC output goes first to the 7002T and then it goes to the MS2 where it activates a relay connected to the zone 2, alright? And then on the MS2 there's an alarm relay output, and I have that wired to zone 3, which is the garage zone, on the 8005. Five? <laughs> alright, so, yeah. That's kind of how you wire panels together. So, yeah. <laughs> Pretty simple but you just have to know how to reset them properly. Now, the thing is... Yeah, there's another thing. <laughs> the thing is, is that most panels have... or some panels have a feature where if you activate Zone 1, then you reset Zone 1. No, let me start over. If you activate Zone 1, then you silence the panel, then you reset Zone 1, and then you activate zone 1 again, the panel alarms. But these panels do not have that feature. Alright. But that might cause a few more problems with trying to reset the system. Anyway. The MS-2 is just a piece of crap, as we probably already know. And it's, it's a weird panel because for whatever reason, if the panel is in trouble, this goes off sometimes and puts this panel in trouble. So in order to fix that, I had to bypass something so that it wouldn't keep going into trouble. And also, I don't know what happened with the Spectra Alert Advance, but something weird happened there. But yeah, there's the 7002T. It's real dirty. I'm going to clean it out after this. 5001DC with its design and yeah so I guess that's how you wire panels together if anybody wants to do this and has questions about how you can go ahead and send me a message and I'll probably help you yep so that's how you wire panels together goodbye